I think it's important to look at what kids have and what they don't have and play and level the playing field for opportunity. And if you go around to different neighborhoods in San Diego and across the country, you'll see there's a disparity. And there has to be something within you that says our kids deserve good things. In fact, that's the first statement that we, we held true to make sure that everyone at our school deserves the best. And what is the best? What is the dream? How do you close that opportunity gap in different neighborhoods? And going around and looking at how kids interact in their environment and in their community and realizing that some kids have more than others, not by any fault of their own, that is a driving force for me as a leader. That I want our kids in our community to have the very best. And to define the very best, you got to bring in every single person that's involved in the school, from parents, community members, staff, teachers, um, leaders, and say, what do our kids deserve? And that should be pretty easy to answer. But you brought it to life. And so some of us have that vision, and we call it the knowing and doing gap. We know what we want, but actually bringing it to fruition is another. Uh, it takes a lot of hard work, much, much harder work than accepting the status quo. And it takes a team, and it takes people that are willing to sacrifice for the greater good. And people that are here at this school have the same mission. And we started with everyone believing and acting on that belief around one mission. And the mission of Gompers Preparatory Academy in partnership with UCSD and our community is to accelerate academic achievement for all students their college preparatory culture and curriculum. And so we tie the culture of the school and the curriculum as equal partners. That's really important that every single person, no matter what position you hold, holds that belief. It's really important that kids are prepared to learn. And how they are prepared to learn is critical at our school. It's a feeling that they must have as they enter school. Are they happy? Are they smiling? Do they have joy? Are they feeling welcomed by every single adult on campus so that their mindset is ready to receive more learning? And so we spent a lot of time on preparing the child for learning. And that is something that is part of our school culture, our climate, um, how we uh, operate as a staff. Um, and our kids know every part of the adult learning. They know why we're dressed up. They know that we're learning how to teach like a pirate. They know our professional development. And in turn, they're expected to know why they're learning. And so it's reciprocal. And I think that's really key. We call it a family. We truly are a family here at GPA. I um, saw evidence of that this morning. The minute I um, got out of my car and I was walking to the front office, um, there was a gentleman that was greeted as he was um, exiting his car. He was greeted twice by two adults, um, not only with a smile, a handshake, but with a hug, um, using his first name. Right then and there, I, I felt the impact, and I knew this place was magical. Um, and the child felt so welcomed, and so um, he was he was appreciated, valued, and honored. It's important for every adult to be present and in the moment as soon as a student walks onto campus. Not walks into your classroom, but walks onto campus. If you think about uh, your last visit to Disneyland and how you feel before you even enter the Magic Kingdom, there's a sense of excitement um, and staff is ready to greet you with a warm smile. They're not trying to get ready. They are ready for you, no matter how early you arrive. So we have staff that we have taught in professional development around customer service. And our students and our community are customers, and we serve them. And that's really important to teach, to create that magic. Magic takes a lot of work. It doesn't just happen, and it has to be explicitly taught. You can wish, but you also have to create the scaffolds for the adults so they know how to do that. And one of the things that we taught was Every single adult that walks by a student must give eye contact to that student and say hello. And in turn, what did the students learn? How to say hello back. It's also taught that we need to be ready for our students. Not getting our lessons together and rushing around. Our students do not need to see that. So part of that is greeting our students out in the front. 100% of our staff is on supervision every day, morning, 
and after school to say good morning and in the afternoon to say thank you for coming. That's important for the mindset of a child. We're working with kids here and they need to feel loved and nurtured and a place that they want to be in. I don't take for granted one minute that our kids have to come to school. That's not good enough for our staff. We want them to want to come to school. If every class was optional, I asked my teachers, would students go to your class? If you could sell a ticket for your classroom, what would you be selling that kids would want to buy that ticket? And it starts with that handshake, that customer service, the parents see the teachers out front, that it's a community, and we're welcome that you're here. And that's key in getting kids prepared to learn for period one. They don't want to miss period one. to fly off to college. Yeah, so welcome to the Wings on This is our college center. This is where anything college happens. So we do all the college readiness for school, yes. <laughs> 6 through 12. So we service middle school and high school. We do anything from college applications, financial aid, parent workshops, scholarships. Something unique about Gompers is that we graduate 100% of our seniors and 100% enroll in a college or university. So let me show you our Wall of Fame. So these are the maps of our four graduating classes and we're attending college. This last year we had 20 students admitted to UCSD on a full ride. So they were Chancellor Scholars. Yes. And this year we're hoping to have more students attend out-of-state schools, which is super cool for us. Honestly, I think it's our staff and our parent involvement. Here at GPA, we make sure that they all attend a four-year university, and we all, even though I'm the college counselor, we have teachers, parents working with students on college applications, so we collaborate with parents a lot. And I think it's just that support and motivation that they need. Um, another factor is we always make sure that they, we sit with parents, we review financial aid packages, we review the whole entire process. Most of our students, I want to say 90% of first generation students, so just getting the families involved makes a huge impact and making sure that they're aware of what's happening in the next four years of their lives. Yes. And I'm sure you've heard from the students, we are definitely a family here at Gompers. We, we commit long hours after school, weekends, to make sure that they actually go to college and that they're prepared. Basically what we do is with 6th and 7th grade, we focus on creating a college-going mindset. So what does that look like? We have college road trips, so we go visit campuses, we bring in um, professionals, so we do a lot of career exploration, college exploration. So whether it's a virtual college tour, we do field trips, college fair. So it's just getting that mindset going so that when they, we have seventh graders taking um, A through G courses at GPA. So it's just making sure that they're aware, yes, and creating their four-year plans. Now we do six-year plans. So we start sixth grade, making sure that they, they're aware of AP courses. and. Well, obviously <laughs> you, um are a very successful young lady. Thank you. And your experience here has poised you now to enter a four-year university uh, Fulbright scholarship. Yes, ma'am. And where are you going? Parsons. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, well, I'm like a veteran here. <laughs> I've been here since like sixth grade and I remember like the very, even before the first day of school, everybody was like really nice and like supportive and I remember Miss Canto I, I was really scared because I moved here from LA with my family and my brother and I were like really 
scared because we didn't know San Diego and we didn't know anybody here and we were like, oh gosh, we have to wear uniform, oh my God, we have to wear these same shoes and then we couldn't, my family couldn't afford to get us a uniform and my first experience here that was like, yeah, it's a good school was with Miss Campo, I don't know if you met her already, she um, provided our uniforms the first time we came here, so that was like huge and like ever since then, it was just like, huh, that's Compers, huh, that's Compers. And I was like, yeah, that's Compers. So I'm really, I'm really proud to be here and I'm really humbled to be a part of this family. And all I can say is good things. <laughs> what do you think we should do as principals to create a culture of success? I think the most important factor for that that I've noticed as well from other schools is just really just embrace your inner child because we're still all learning. Even as adults, we still learn all the time. So I think it's just to embrace the kid inside because everybody's still curious and we can't just conform to like, you're young so you only have to learn this amount of things because he still learns things from us and that's really all it is, just to learn from each other. And so how would, what do you think the most out of your entire journey here at the school, what do you feel has been the most influential thing, that one thing that has impacted you as a learner, so, you, so now you are ready to go on to a four-year university, what, what would be that one thing? It sounds really cheesy, but the love. <laughs> the love here like the amount of support and like the no other schools knows each other completely like the senior classes nobody knows each other as a whole nobody knows their sixth graders as a whole who gets to know their principal on a personal level or their teachers it's like a, it's like a, just an entire family being here you, everybody you see everybody you see how they're dressed I no do. like they're comfortable enough to dress like that with us and we're comfortable enough to like sit with each other and talk to each other it's just the the fact that we like that we're a family that's like what it is like this is our second home most of us this is our only home and stuff so that's something that really impacted me and stayed with me the entire time and that's gonna hurt when I leave because I know no other school is gonna be like this but that's really the most important part so what I'm, skills and strategies are you taking with you from your experience at Gompers that's gonna help you be successful I've learned that it's really, really not good to procrastinate. And they've taught me that with, because directors assigned essays for us and our teachers assign like, they don't do it like like a lot, but when they assign like assignments, it's like a long period of time that we have to work on it. So it's like, that's what helps me like learn, like okay, I have to make a timeline for this. I need to write my own deadlines and that's what they helped me do. And that's something that, it's not. It's helped me even outside of like academic stuff, like with my sports and like outside <clears throat> activities. Like I, I've learned how to like make my own deadline and write a schedule for myself. And that's when I tell people from like colleges that I've met, like they're like, "Oh my God, where did you like? How did you like? How do you know how to do this?" Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I did it in high school. <laughs> so like, yeah, that's something that I know is going to help me a lot. So, what are some of the memories you're going to take with you? Oh man. Um, that's a really hard question because it's kind of like every week there's something that I remember and like there's a highlight in every day. But I think something I remember the most was um, our senior sunrise and during the summer when a bunch of the seniors, like we all came in the summer to learn how to dance and just, just seeing just remembering all my teachers and just mostly director. There's not a specific mm -hmm. memory or moment. It's just my entire high school experience being here. That's like the memory I'm taking. It's beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Congratulations <laughs> once again. This is our Hall of Fame. I actually want to put red carpet all the way down. Like eventually this will have red carpet all the way down like the Academy Awards. Because this is truly the runway of the school. This is where we showcase all of the colleges that our students have been accepted to and it is the Academy Awards this is what we're in the business of so we rarely stop instruction throughout the day but when we do it's because it's big news good morning and welcome back from spring break 2016 this is director Rivrall with an important announcement if you're in the hallways please stop and listen. 
Another eagle got their wings. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, the following students have been accepted to UCLA. Woo! Congratulations, Jennifer G. Daniel G. Serena G. Gabriel Lopez. Taylor. Primavera, Abby, and Ashley, UCLA! <laughs> the following students have been accepted to UC Berkeley! <laughs> Ashley V, Rosa B, congratulations ladies! Yeah. <laughs> The following students have been accepted to UC Davis! <laughs> Alondra L. Felipe M. Destiny Shepard! <laughs> the following students have been accepted to UC Santa Barbara! <laughs> Rosa B. Taylor O and Kayla S. Congratulations! <laughs> CSU Northridge. <laughs> Azari. Itzel Flores. Alondra L. Dulce M. Jocelyn P. Niabelle T. Maria T. Congratulations, ladies! Yeah. <laughs> And finally, this just in, receiving a full scholarship to travel 3,000 miles away to New York City. Congratulations. She got accepted to the very distinguished, prestigious Parsons School in New York. Congratulations on a full scholarship, Isabel Garcia! Congratulations to all of our college acceptance on earning your wings.